What's going on guys? So we're out here with the two-wheel drive Stampede VXL system. This is going to be running on uh, 2S LiPo. Uh, I believe it's going to be a 5400 milliamp uh, 25C discharge rate, a Traxxas battery. Um, as you guys know, I swapped the uh, steel CBD drive shaft out of the Stampede and I put it into uh, the Rustler VXL system. So as you guys, uh, as you guys can see, uh, the Stampede is pretty uh, more like a uh, monster truck that you would see at Monster Jam. Uh, that's kind of how it sits. It's kind of how it's built. Uh, so I took the the steel drive shaft off of this, and I put it on the Rustler VXL two wheel drives uh, car. Um, the reason the reason for that is because uh, this thing is not meant for speed runs. The the, the Stampede. Uh, it sits up pretty high. Uh, the Rustler is much more meant for speed runs. So uh, this one's just meant to kind of uh, go slow. And also, this thing pops wheelies like no, like no other. And uh, every time I, po I pop a wheelie and I hit the if I hit the the body, it uh, tears the uh, the body where the uh, post the posts go for for the pins. It'll tear the body right right, right off of the right off the pin so yeah so this one's just meant to uh, kind of go slow and just pl play around I should uh, I was thinking about getting a wheelie bar for this thing but I kind of like it just uh, as almost like a monster truck I may in the future sometime but right now I, I just like it pretty much how it is See, right there. That's what happens if I hit the throttle even a little bit too hard. Is uh, it'll pop a wheelie and it, it'll scrape the body and it'll rip the, rip the body out of the uh, where the pins go into the body. It'll rip the, the, the body right there. So I have to be careful with this thing. So I have never owned a Stampede before, um, and whenever I was buying this car, I bought it as a bundle with two cars, uh, and it was a cheaper deal. Uh, I was actually thinking about not even buying this car at all, um, and just buying the one, but um, I, I saw that it had the steel drive shafts, and I thought maybe they could transfer over to the, the Rustler. And uh, it was a good deal for, for two of them, so I decided to go ahead and buy both of them at the same time. As you guys know, that they have been watching my channel, uh, I bought this off of OfferUp, uh, and it was a two-car bundle, so. I bought this one along with the uh, uh, 116th scale Traxxas Summit VXL system. If you guys happen to have any questions about any of my cars or want me to do, uh, want, want, want to see me do certain videos or talk about certain cars or whatnot, just uh, let me know down below in the comment section. Yeah, so um, me running this car on 2S, it's not going to have any issues with the plastic drive shafts at all, especially how, uh, how slow I run it, how easy I run it. Uh, I'm not going to have any issues with the, those plastic drive shafts. Um, before when I had the, the plastic, plastic drive shafts in the, the Rustler, uh, I could not run it on 3S, uh, because the drive shafts would break right there where they entered the rear differential. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what you call them, but like the, the, I guess they're maybe like some dog, the dog bones where they connect to the, um, the actual, 
uh, differential axle. That's where, that's where they would break. So I had to run it on 2S all the time. Uh, but now that I switched both both cars around um, with the plastic plastic uh, drive shaft in this Stampede, I haven't had any issues at all. Uh, and uh, the CVD steel drive shafts in the the Traxxas Rustler, I haven't had any issues at all with that either with the, the drive sh shafts break breaking or anything like that. Uh, the only thing I have to watch out for when I'm driving the, the Rustler on 3S is going to be... Is going to be the heat of the ESC in the motor. Alright guys, so like I said, it's going to be the uh, Traxxas Stampede VXL system, two-wheel drive, running on 2S LiPo. Uh, I'm going to have a lot more videos coming up about uh, a whole bunch of different cars. They're going to be running videos and also uh, breakdowns of what I have on my cars. Um, so stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.